Welcome to an overview video of Aquadata Studio's Query Builder. The Query Builder allows you to drag and drop tables to build SQL by creating joins and selecting your fields. You can launch the Query Builder under Query Builder New, and then you also see the familiar Open or Open Recent. Another way to open a Query Builder window is to right click on your connection or registered server, and there you see the Query Builder as well. If you right click on the connection, then Aquadata Studio knows that that is the database you're working with. Otherwise, you would connect, click on connect to data and then see a list of the tables or views available. So here I can expand this window and easily drag and drop to the white space a table or multiple tables to start building SQL. So just by dragging one table, you can see the select star has been created for me or written out on the SQL tab on the bottom portion of the screen. Here I could easily execute that SQL with a green run arrow and bring back the result set for the select all or select star for this table. Or I could start dragging and dropping fields to my columns deck or just start clicking or selecting fields from within the table. So here is the select star. If I just started manually selecting these fields, now I can see the qualified paths written for me. So without having to be an expert at the SQL syntax, I can easily uh, select individual fields and have that syntax created for me and execute that SQL. If I wanted to select from multiple tables, I could easily drag and drop tables from the left hand side or the navigation tree. So here if I had a table, I could drag over to the white space background. And if you had a foreign key relationship between those tables, you'll see that relationship line and then you can start selecting fields from the additional table. Right. So maybe there's other columns of information I want from the additional table. If I did not have that relationship, I could create that join by dragging columns of the same data type, and that would create the join in my code and allow me to build and execute SQL against one or multiple tables. Okay, so here's an example of two or three tables and more complex SQL being built against those tables. I can drag and drop to my where box or group by having so I can start to build aggregate SQL either by double clicking or dragging and dropping to these uh, user interface boxes. So here for example if I wanted to have just say a certain product ID I would have my operator drop down and I could say perhaps in this example show me just certain product IDs or product IDs less than 50 for example. Say save I could look at that SQL and then execute here to retrieve a subset of my query. You can save Query Builder files very easily under File, Save As. And this would be saved as an Aquadata Studio.qbw file and can be shared with other users. Thank you for watching this overview video of Aquadata Studio Query Builder.